lot happier. If we saw some sunshine out there, Lainey. <laughs> Yeah, I, and you will be tomorrow afternoon. We've got sunshine for you. I know you've been touching base with your folks there in Houston. Boy, deep freeze in Texas, no doubt. Single digits in some communities out west as well. We're going to show you that. We're thankful that we are above freezing because all that rain out there would be ice again. And we had enough of that over the weekend, didn't we? This is the view at Elon University today. Boy, it's rain boot day. It's an umbrella day. It's a rain jacket day. It's a stay indoors if you can day, right? Temperatures out there right now are in the upper 30s in Burlington. Yeah, and we have had a cool wind all day long, and it is still out of the north, northwest, about six miles an hour. Rainfall in Burlington, about a quarter of an inch. Higher totals in Asheboro, Winston-Salem, and Greensboro, close to a half of an inch. More than an inch in Pofftown from Ryan Carmichael. Thanks for that information. Just over an inch in Stanleyville, inch in Mount Airy. Hamptonville also with significant rain today, and our Two, three-day totals are getting close to three inches in some spots. Now, the heaviest rain is edging slowly to the east, so we do have some moderate downpours from Greensboro to Burlington. We're just going to see some of these remnant showers between now and tomorrow morning, and we'll start to turn the faucet off just a little bit. That'll be nice, right? Temperatures may actually nudge up just a little bit when we get a south wind in here and we're able to end the rain. We have temperatures right now that are very close to freezing, though, in some of our northern triad and mountain communities, so there is... A little light glaze. We talked about that on elevated surfaces in the mountains, so that may continue through morning. Rain is tapering off, though, by morning, and then we'll make way for some sunshine in behind this storm system, which is right now down over the panhandle of Florida where they had tornado warnings earlier today. Heavy batches of rain push through between now and about midnight. And then tomorrow morning we wake up to clouds. And I think by lunchtime we're going to have sunshine across the area. Our temperatures aren't going to be terribly warm, but compared to what we have had, yeah, it will feel warm. 49 tomorrow afternoon. Breezy, though, with winds out of the west at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Our numbers climb in the foothills, too. We'll be up close to 48 by late tomorrow. Tomorrow. The numbers are going down, though, as we go through the day in the mountains. Some of that cold air out west is going to get to the mountains first. Northwest wind at 15 to 30 miles an hour. Check this out. From the mountains in the middle, foothills, should say foothills in the middle, mountains to the left and triad to the right. These are the next couple of days, and it looks like we will have no rain for Tuesday and for Wednesday. The temperatures on Wednesday are actually going to be colder because, yeah, this cold air will finally tumble over the mountains into the triad. It is right now 8 degrees in Dallas. We're 0 in Denver and minus 8 in Fargo. They've got a hard freeze warning down in New Orleans. They've got the winter storm warning continuing over Texas. Another storm system is going to move from Texas to the northeast. We're going to get mostly rain from this, but at least initially there could be a wintry mix in our northwestern communities, some freezing rain in the triad, changing to a cold rain on Thursday. Thursday, drying out on Friday. Here's how it may shape up. We've been through this before, haven't we? More sloppy than snowy. And that's what it looks like again for Thursday as we've got a cold rain for the most part in the forecast after potentially an icy morning and then some sunshine for the weekend. But it is cold with 20s in the morning.